what is going on guys hope you're having a great day here in star trek fleet command um yeah today is a great day it's december 4th uh you know we're in december now cannot believe it we're actually in december but hope you're having a great day guys and hope you have a great happy holidays we do have a lot coming up uh in today's show so i mean without further ado i mean let's get started so i mean we're here to to talk about a lot of things really and you know have some afternoon coffee stuff like that so there's a lot of stuff to do and you know a lot of stuff going on okay so definitely we'll get some armada started we'll take a look at some bonus refineries and stuff like that and um yeah mining pvp kind of all the stuff like that so definitely like, stay tuned for that okay so where were we oh yes so here we are in sort of food command and you know of course it's december so what do we have up and coming we have the daily sales packs right here so the december elite daily reward pack and the december choice reward pack so you know if you're i don't know if you're a free to play player or a pay to pay player but there's a lot going on there's a lot going on in the game and you need to be aware of it too okay so let's start off with the december choice awards packs for 69.98 this is of course on the canadian store uh, I don't know what kind of store you're on, but if you take a look here, um, you can get 5,500 Latinum, uh, 300 reward, 300 December Choice reward chips, um, two rarefined ore, two rarefined gas, uh, two rare, uh, one rarefined crystal, a lot of uncommon ore. This seems to be a common thing, uh, all this uncommon ore. Um, guaranteed uh, common gas, because we all need that for like the special buildings, etc. Like you need that to kind of upgrade, etc. etc. And you know, a bit of uncommon gas there. And look at this, look at all of these uh par steel tokens. You can get a hundred a hundred times hundred thousand par steel tokens plus three one million par steel tokens. That is a lot of par steel. Uh that is a lot of par steel, which you will need um kind of post post level uh post level 30 for sure like you'll need that and you know again you get the 10 million uh power steel so again this is awesome uh you should use this straight away but obviously like this is gonna be um it's gonna be pretty rateable like if you buy this pack just just keep keep noted like this is gonna be pretty rateable to um 100,000 200,000 titanium tokens uh, a lot of dilithium and again a lot of speed ups a lot of p shields always good always good to do um and of course relocation tokens so you know, again this is a pretty decent pack for the for the price um 69.99 on the canadian store obviously gonna be a little bit more a little bit less like depending on where you live like if you're in the us in the uk you know like obviously like this all changes uh with time so yeah i mean this is this is pretty simple stuff i mean you know would i invest in this um probably like i think the december choice reward pack is these these packs are definitely worth it um i would rather get these than say um the odd little pack here and there right okay so let's go on to the december elite daily reward pack so 139.99 you can get this so you can get 16,000 Latinum. It's a huge amount of Latinum uh, to get as well. Uh, December Elite Daily Reward Chips, 300 of those. You can get some pretty good chests out of this too. Um, 22 Refined Ore, 20, uh, 14 Refined Crystal, and 14 Refined Gas. I don't know why they push the ore so much. Like that's something which has always boggled my mind um, why they push this. Um, of course you get more ore and less crystal and less gas here but you get lots of uncommon stuff too lots of common stuff 50 million par steel right there that's a crazy amount um 100,000 par steel tokens 120 million par steel tokens like this is insane like this is a lot of par steel which you can just build up pretty instantaneously um, for the good price of 139.99. So obviously, like, is it worth it? You know what? Like, this is kind of like 
maybe more than double than the other pack too. So this is uh, pretty good too. Like, pretty in loving this music. Um, yeah. So lots of tritanium right there. Lots of tritanium tokens. Dilithium. A lot of stuff there too. Um, speed ups. P shields. Always good to know. So I mean, yeah. I mean, a lot of stuff there. Um, yeah. Oh, someone has started an armada. Okay, let's go to the armada, guys. Um, Pajastad Mata. So let's go on our way. On my way. Alright, so let's speed up this poor little legionary. Because he's been... He's been taking his toll today. Like, I've done a few J dailies today. And... The poor little legionary is... Pretty beat up. But... You know, we're gonna send him out to... The Armada. So let's do this right now. Let's go to the Armada. So... Okay, it's about... Oh, so it's, it's a tiny little armada. So it's about 500,000, so that's not too bad. So let's click join, let's go there. Let's go there, let's do it. So again, guys, hope you're having a great day. It is December 4th. Um, hope you're opening your advent calendars. Happy Hanukkah, which is up and coming, of course. Happy holidays. It is going to be freaking awesome. Um, and yeah, I hope you can join in too. Okay, so we're on our way to the Armada now, and we're just going over these packs, you know, whether they're worth it or not. December Choice Reward Pack, um, not this one, sorry, the Elite Daily Reward Pack. So obviously you get a lot of stuff in here. Um, if you're kind of the, one of people, one of the people who buys these $100 reward packs, um, of course this is the one for you, right? You get a lot of parsley, a lot of dilithium. Um, and of course, this is the one that people want. The December Elite Daily Chip Rewards for those special chests. So think about it. You know, are you gonna do a little Christmas present? I think it might be worth it, might be worth it. Okay. But of course you could be a free to, free to play player too. And that's okay too. Because, you know, whether you're grinding it out in argument space or whether you're grinding it out um, in whatever space like free to play is good too okay so let's do some help here um, so we're on our way now and we can definitely start some more modders uh, for you guys so let's check out the latest in the in the game news because I want to check out what is happening here uh, oh we've got some dilithium very nice very nice okay so, sins of my past. Okay, so I did cover this in another video. So we took a look at the first sins of past video, but Captain Lee is back and she's caught up with her sins of my past in the next chapter. So we really want to analyze that and see what is happening with that video. So obviously we're going to take a look at that in another video uh, for you guys, because I think that's definitely a good thing to do. So check out my YouTube channel, Discord, um, and Twitch, of course, for all the latest um, in Sins of My Past, and of course, the other Star Trek Fleet Command um, events. So right now we have Battle for Glory. So this is pretty strong event, um, pretty hard to do too. So essentially what it means is um, you can do battles, you can do a lot of battles, and then you can get stuff for doing these battles. So, let's take a look here. So, we're on our way now to the modder. And by the way, this warp stop function has been working very well, I feel. The warp, the stop warp function has been working very well. Um, and I'm actually loving like this, the way that this is operating because um, I think it's great. Like, you know, I'm very surprised that they have uh, so many um, new, a lot more new stuff coming out, and I think that it's pretty good. So we're just in Angosha right now. Just in Angosha. And, oh, there's a rare Red Marty here. So this is about 1.8 million. So, not too great. I mean, the Alliance can do, like, the Fire Alliance can do, like, I think max like 7 million armadas, so that's definitely something to consider. Um, oh god, what's happening? 
I don't know. I don't know, guys. But the game has been extremely glitchy. Um, I don't know why. Oh, we're going... We're going green? No. Um, yes. Okay. Right, so let's take a look here, right? And Gosha. Um, some weird things happening with the stream. Not to worry though, Padge has arrived. Can't see the ship, but that's okay. So we're just waiting for more people to arrive now for this stream, um, for this Armada. So obviously this is gonna be super important uh, to do because we wanna get as much points as possible in these Armadas. And you know, you can use Armada tokens and credits if you go to the Alliance store. Look at this, epic Armada packs, rare Armada packs, and of course, uncommon Armada packs. This is the one to go for. Um, if you want, you know, kind of the free stuff, you don't have to build an Admada control center to join Admadas, but it is definitely recommended because getting these Armada tactical cores, um, it's really, it's really beneficial to your game actually. Okay, so we're just on this Admada now. And yeah, we're also mining uh, gas. So obviously like that's a huge thing right now, mining gas. Um, in of course Federation space, but you know, I should be mining um, or in crystal a lot more. I feel like um, Yeah, I mean should be mining it a lot more and don't forget guys like you can join in on the daily chat uh, Send me a message on Twitch and YouTube as well as of course on my discord channel um, I put a link to it down below for you guys so you can check that out But don't forget you can like engage with this video too like don't feel like you don't need to because you can. Okay, so guys, we're just momentarily now gonna start. Padge has arrived with his Kumari. 311 Kumari, I mean, that is a pretty powerful Kumari, um, if I say so. Like, so that's probably, I'm guessing tier five or tier six, most likely, um, yeah. Most likely tier five or tier six at this stage. Okay, let's see where we're at now. All right. Here we go. So about seven minutes away now. Forgot to mention the game is so glitchy um, recently with the new update. Obviously, like I can't even see like what this armada actually is in Angosha. Now I can. So I might bow, bow out of this one if some other people do come in. Just because um, I don't want to, I don't want to intrude on anyone's armada for sure. Because you know all these other guys are pretty; they're not as strong, and they definitely need the armada credits, and that's okay. A two eight three there. Yeah. So yeah, if someone else does show up, then I am gonna bow out of this. But yeah, I mean, okay. So yeah, I mean, the latest update was definitely like something else entirely like. So the new update obviously brought warp cancellation, but um, it did also bring a lot of bugs. 
which was something um, I wasn't super impressed with, but it did, you know, it did, of course, introduce spinning nodes. Um, and, you know, this is something which happened a lot in the beta, actually. We had a lot of spinning nodes in the beta, and not a lot of people were happy about it. So, I don't know if I can see it here, but if I go to, like, Tau Seti, for example, um, not Tau, but anyway, the point is, there's spinning nodes out there, and it's not good. It's not good at all. The spinning nodes thing increases. Um, people will tell me, especially read some was telling me, like, when someone knocks someone off a node, like, the glitch does increase with time. So, obviously, like, I mean, the, knocking people off n nodes happens all the time. So, the fact that it glitches, like, it doesn't really surprise me at all. Um, and it's generally, like, a slow, sluggish game with the new update as well, which is pretty surprising, considered, you know, like, all these things go into beta test, and they, I assume they test out the, the features and stuff beforehand. But obviously, like, this wasn't the case, and something did happen. So, yeah, definitely. So I'm going to start this armada actually next, because I want these guys to kind of get involved here. And, you know, out of the 68 people we have, <laughs> um, the fact that these people are showing up is really good. Okay. Oh, the giant sloth? No, he didn't show up. Okay, so we have enough people. We definitely have enough people to continue this, um, which is good. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I freaking love Star Trek Fleet Command. Like, there's always something new happening with it or some sort of drama, which I really appreciate. Um, it's ne There's never a dull moment in Star Trek Fleet Command, which I really enjoy. So there's never a dull moment. Um, which I do really like. Okay. So we're about two, three minutes away now from the start of this, this armada. And as you can see from the stats, like we are pretty, uh, pretty, pretty super powered. Um, so, you know, it's about 506 armada and our armada strength is 1.2 million. <laughs> so <laughs> we definitely have the strength there. We definitely have the strength. Even if I was to withdraw my ship, they would still have the strength for sure to take on this uh, armada. So yeah, I'm gonna start the smaller one for these guys. And you know, it's something definitely like you, sh you guys should be doing as an alliance. Um, you like If you can start armadas, start a bunch of small armadas for the small players. And if you do have any, um, if you do have the opportunity to start bigger armadas, obviously start them like 7 million, 5 million. That is definitely the way to go. Um, okay, so Anderson just showed up. I'm gonna bow out of this one. Um, <laughs> Star Lord's like, he wants to start a, he wants to start a seven. Yeah, so I've bought out of this one because they have enough superpower. Um, yeah, look at this, like, Anderson's racked with his Mayflower, like, super powerful ship. Um, so it's about like 285,000. So that's not too bad. So we're just waiting now to start the next armada. And actually I'm gonna try and find some five millions because there has to be some somewhere. Maybe Pajem. Pajem's always a, a decent system for armadas. Okay, I found a 6.5.
Okay, Starlord found one. Okay, 6.9. 6.9 is good. I'll stop there. 6.9. Okay. So I'm going to start this armada once this ends. So obviously I'm not included in the last armada because we need other guys to kind of um, participate. But let's start this next one. Here we go. All right, so we're on our way to the next armada now. It's about a 15 minute ride, we're about eight minutes away. So obviously this isn't too bad. Um, not too bad at all. And you know, this is gonna be really good. So yeah. Right, so we're on our way now. I really do not want to flake out of this one. Um, I should have done a roll call for this, obviously, but um, yeah, like, that's... Oh, God. Let's see what's happening in Galaxy Chat. Um, and this little planet here is pretty cool. Kind of looks like Earth a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they're getting pretty creative with their planets. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. The Armada waits for no one. <laughs> the Armada waits for no one, guys. Like, <laughs> no, no joking. Like, we should be starting this momentarily. Another Armada filled session. That's right. Um, all right, so people are on their way now. So we still got a lot of ways to go in the refinery. Uh, managed to build up 1.5 million in gas, which is, I think, is super impressive. Um, yeah, I think it's like super impressive. But we still got a ways to go. There's no bonus refinery. Kind of hoping that arrives at Christmas time. But I guess we'll find out um, hopefully tomorrow when I chat with the uh, community, community people. Um, but yeah, I mean, kind of hoping for. A decent armada to happen. Okay. So we're a five minute right away. And, you know, let's check out who are some of the top alliances. Because since I last streamed and last I uh, did a video, like obviously this has changed a lot. Um, so let's take a look here. So if I go to here and I go to alliances and power. Pure power is, of course, uh, rest in pieces. Um, so you probably can't see can't see the scores too well. Let me check here and see if I can fix this. Okay, so the scores, rest in pieces has 391 million in power. Um, Ramu 367 million in power. LOC 318 in power. Uh, Terran Empire, Terran Empire is doing increasingly very well, 252 million in power, um, they are slowly rising through the ranks, I think at one time they were third, 
or possibly second, but they have dropped since then. Um, unit, 231 million in power. Section 31, like that's a relatively new alliance in terms of the whole Star Trek um, timeline. 195 million in power, followed closely behind by the old gods, GU. Of course, um, TOG and GU did merge to form um, a to form one alliance. And crazy, crazy Canucks. We've obviously had dealings with them in the past, but they seem relatively good. Um, 192 million in power. FUAE 188 million. Oh, FUAE free. Um, free has been Fire's long-term ally. They're at 182 million. Aegis at 181 million, the Q at 171 million, Mercs at 158 million, you know those Merc pirates, of course, check out the YouTube channel, and of course Prometheus, 156 million in power, so considering we're rank 14, isn't too bad at all, uh, that is not too bad at all really, for rank 15, like, I am like super impressed with that, um, yeah, super impressed. Okay, so Star Lord has arrived. Star Lord has brought his 647 um, Saladin, super powerful Saladin, obviously. Um, and, you know, it's even more powerful now than my Legionary, which is um, out of the gate 618,000. Uh, so, like, obviously, like, it's, it has a lot of improvement to do. And I think a lot of that is to do with officers. Um, so in the second half of this video, I'm going to have a look at some officers and what I can definitely do to um, kind of level up my ships in that way. Because officers, as I was saying, I'm not, not going to get too much into detail about them, but they are super powerful. Those officers are super powerful. Okay. So about a minute out now. Full of corrosion rebels. Those rebels. That's right, those corrosions. All right, so about a minute out now from starting this Admata. So we did start it. Oh. Uh-oh, what is that? Guys? <laughs> may I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? This is Onyx Fire Protection Services. We will be conducting a monthly inspection of the fire alarm system. Please disregard all sounds and all signals that you may hear, for this is only a test. Thank you. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? This is Onyx Fire Protection Services. We will be conducting a monthly inspection of the fire alarm system. Uh, so that was the uh, fire alarm and obviously like, you know, this is live so obviously anything can happen um, Fire alarm just went off. That's okay, though um, We might hear some fire alarms in the background. This is only a test But yeah, again, this is live and anything can happen. Oh my gosh Okay. I'm literally gonna turn up the volume just because of the fire alarm. <laughs> Stay tuned guys.
got this Klingon fighter coming up next to me. So he's about 250. Um, I have a lot of time left, so I'm going to try and escape this Klingon fighter, obviously, because I need as much strength for this 6.9 as possible. So I'm going to like friggin escape. And, you know, I should have brought a ship with me, but uh, what can you do? Oh my gosh, Star Wars taking care of it. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. I need to say thank you to Star Lord. Oh my gosh, he saved our skins, guys. He saved our. He destroyed the Klingon. Fair dues to him. Fair dues. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a lot of stuff happening today, you know. It's been a pretty, like, pretty dry, cold day uh, in Canada. The fire alarm is freaking gone off. Fire alarm's gone off. And, of course, um, a lot of drama in game, too. So, yeah, a lot of stuff. But the point is, like, our armada is here. It's... We're gonna try and do this. And, obviously, like... It's just a lot of stuff. Hey, AKF. Interesting. Oh boy, someone's going after Joey. No, he killed it. He killed it with his Valk. 424 Valk. That's pretty powerful Valk. I'm guessing like tier 6 or possibly tier... S no, I, I, I'd say tier 6. Like, Joey's got some pretty powerful officers. Um, okay. And of course we've got Anderson. Anderson's taking on some of these Klingon fighters too. Oh boy, Anson's taking a hit. Oh boy, 438. Some of these fighters like are pretty powerful for this level 28 system. Like I can't actually believe it. Like there's a lot of powerful fighters here. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we just wait in. Oh boy. St Star, Star Lord's taking on everything here. Star Lord, like, you need to save time for the Armada, buddy. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna message him. Oh man. He's okay. Okay. So now we're just waiting on this Armada to begin. And we're kicking butt here and now. Oh boy. Yeah, this is tough, like. A lot of stuff. Oh boy. All right, we have a minute to go here. Pretty soon, we're gonna have this armada in the bag. Um, and hopefully we don't have to evacuate. <laughs> no, should be good, should be good. Absolutely. Um, yes. So momen momentarily, guys, momentarily. Okay. Yeah, loving the music. <laughs> it's like Swedish rock or something, I don't know. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go!
Oh, oh wow, that was crazy. We did some massive damage to the station, and obviously we took a lot of damage too. Um, that was great. Okay, let's withdraw from here. Let's take a look at this battle log real quick. Klingon Arsenal. Okay, here we go. Oh, gosh. Okay, I am the only one without epic offices at this stage. It's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> pretty embarrassing. Wow, guys, like, how was that so tough? How was that so tough? I don't understand. Um, that was crazy. Like, 2.7 million. Um, I don't know, like, oh my gosh. Crazy. Okay, so we got some decent rewards. We got 630 enemy cargo. So pretty decent right there. Um, yeah, pretty pretty happy with that, actually. Pretty happy. Okay. Um, so now we... So let's check, check out the battle log real quick. So Joey, Anson, Anson, Anson. So yeah, I mean, obviously a lot of... A lot of stuff going on there. 41 rounds. Like, that is pretty crazy. This thing went on for 41 rounds. Um, a lot of stuff. So, yeah, pretty impressive. Okay. So that is it for um, this half of the video. In the next half of the video, we are going to um, take a look at what we can open, some officers. Um, stream is going really weird right now. I wonder if it's like... Is it the music? I don't know. Um, okay. So yeah, in the next second half of the video, we are going to... What is going on with this? Oh gosh. Okay guys, in the next second half of the video, we're going to take a look at some officer packs. Um, you know, what offices we can open, etc. So stay tuned, I shall be right back momentarily.